Hey guys, it's Natasha. So this week I wanted to talk about um, some conversations that I had and my friends had in South Asia. Um, it was a really cool environment to be in because people are just so open to talking about anything. So we got to talk about religion with people and faith and, and our beliefs and their beliefs. And it's really cool. Like I don't think we get to do that as much in uh, America. So it was really awesome to just talk with people. And uh, one of my friends, I got to see her share her faith with a lady. And then afterwards, the lady was saying how she's Hindu, but she also believes in Jesus. And she sort of just added Jesus on because she says they're all the same. Um, and then my friend um, wanted uh, to talk with her and maybe challenge her to think about something. She said, if they're all the same, she's like, well, did any of your other of your Hindu gods, did they love you so much that they died for you to save you from your own sins so that you could be in a closer relationship with him? And yeah, she was even specific. She's like, did Krishna do this or did any of the other gods do this? Say, I love you so much, I'm going to die for you to save you from yourself so that we could be in a close relationship together. And the lady was like, thinking about it and she said no no one else did that for me she's like I guess they are sort of different so that was like really an awesome moment like for me to even hear I was like wow that changed some of my views is really cool um, in a conversation that I had with someone who um, was the same way where they said they were Hindu but they also believed in Jesus they were sort of adding him on as well um, I asked um, but does the things that Jesus teach align with the things that these other gods are saying and teaching. And she's like, well, I don't know. I don't really study any of anyone. I just worship them. And I really encouraged her to learn about what she's worshiping, because if you don't know what you're worshiping, then what are you really worshiping? Um, and Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus, right off the bat, he's saying, you know, I'm the only way. And so it doesn't line up just adding him on. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, it's really cool to have conversations with people. And, like, coming back to the States, I was, like, thinking about all of this, and it's, like, really impacting me. Like, you can't just add Jesus on. And um, then I felt like God, like, really convicted me that a lot of us in the States we do just that, we just add Jesus on. We have our own plan, our own agenda. Um, we've had the way we lived before Jesus and we say, we're not gonna change, we're just gonna add Jesus on. And that's exactly what happens. And that's not letting Jesus be the Lord of our lives. We're just keeping the same gods that we had in the beginning, pursuing success or fame or money and power and we're living for those things and not for Jesus. And we're just tacking on Jesus and saying, bless what I want to do, but we're doing, yeah, we're just adding him on. And that's not what Jesus calls us to do. That's not why he died on a cross for our sins. He died on the cross to save us from ourselves, but we're not letting him. So I think that was like a really big thing where I was like, ah, like for me to look at my life, and hopefully for you guys to look at yours and think like have I been letting Jesus change me the Word of God change me or am I saying I'm this is me and I'm sticking to what I want versus what God wants and so that was like really convicting for me but it was a really good lesson that I pulled from South Asia so yeah okay guys take care